gentle lady yields. The gentleman from Wisconsin, Mr. Grossman, is recognized for five minutes of questions. Yeah, I'm going to start here with a, a little anecdote, and we'll, we'll build off of that. About uh, 12 years ago, 14 years ago, before I was a congressman, uh, I went on a tour of Taiwan. And a you know, standard tour. Um, at the end of the night, about 8 o'clock, me and a buddy of mine, another member of the Wisconsin legislature, we figured we'd go out and just you know, tour Taiwan. So we asked our guide, is there anywhere we shouldn't go? And we were told, no, there's nowhere you can't go. And I ask him again, because Taiwan, so you know, is a bigger city than Chicago. The only city in America, or Taipei, I'm sorry. Taipei is a bigger city than any city but Chicago. And he said, no, no, everywhere in Taipei is safe, which I found out to be true. And it made me a little bit ashamed about our nation's capital. Because I thought if our tour guide came to Washington, D.C. and asked me if there's anywhere he couldn't walk at night, I'd have to give him all sorts of places. And... Um, it looks like things haven't changed. You had a, a little bit of a downward dip in murders last year, but this year you're up again, and you're over 200 a year, which for a city this size is really intolerable. It's almost as bad as Milwaukee, which is adjacent to my district. Um, there's anecdotal evidence that you hear constantly from staff around here about, you know, people, uh, cars being broke into. We heard what happened to Rand Paul's uh, staffer the other weekend, which was tragic and what I think most people would say is a safe neighborhood. Uh, the second thing that concerns me, and you're not alone in this first city of this size, um, depending how you do the measuring, your public schools are, you know, third or fourth or second worst in the country uh, as far as test scores are concerned. Um, I know both Bill Clinton and Barack Obama, as well as Joe Biden's grandchildren, would not attend the public schools, the government schools in Washington. They had to attend private schools. And like I said, looking at the test scores, you can see why. And I know that Vladimir Putin makes fun of our, our homeless population, which is somewhat of an embarrassment. I mean, if I walk back at night down Pennsylvania Avenue from the White House to the Capitol, as I do sometimes, or down Pennsylvania Avenue, you see all the tents there. And you've got to admit that that's kind of an embarrassment for what should be the greatest city of the world, a city that is attracting people, tourists from all over the world, and whether you look at the homelessness or the schools or the crime rate, you've got a problem. Um, uh, I, I'll ask you, Chairman Mendelssohn, as, as an example, and maybe there are some different schools, but if, if I have a, a visitor come here from another country, Taiwan, France, wherever, um, how do you respond? Is there anywhere that I shouldn't be walking tonight that I have to look out? If they're going to stay here for extended period, would you attend the uh, Washington Public Schools? And what would you say about these tents of homelessness that if Washington were a state, as I understand it, looking at the Internet, so it's kind of dangerous to say I read it on the Internet, but if I look on the Internet, um, it would say that if Washington was a state, we'd have the highest percentage of homelessness in the country. So I'd like you to respond to those three things. Uh, thank you, Congressman. So if somebody is visiting and they ask if there's any place that they uh, can't go that's not safe, I can't think of a neighborhood I would say that they can't go. Uh, with U Street, the wharf, uh, Capitol Hill, you know, I live 12 blocks from here, um, and I feel safe. Um, so my answer w would be no, there's not a place I say that you can't go. Uh, with regard to schools, uh, you know, I was thinking before this hearing, I'd like to say that I'm a public school parent, but she graduated from Duke Ellington High School, but went through the D.C. public school system. Councilmember Allen's kids are in D.C. public schools. Uh, so, uh, and the homelessness, what comes to mind is that as chairman of the council, I often will meet with presidents of city councils from other cities, and we are seeing a problem with homelessness around the country. Um, and uh, it, it is challenging. Homelessness has gone down in the district, uh, but these tents are, are, are very concerning, and, and we are trying to find housing for those individuals. I don't know if you really believe what you just told me. I mean... I talk to the staff around here, and without going a mile from the Capitol, there are all sorts of places they would recommend me not walking at night. Uh, I assume they know what's going on, and, and the murder rate uh, is an indication. Well, I'll be happy to take you out to dinner on the Hill. I'll, ma I'll make one other comment. Um, 
I uh, wouldn't get that carried away. I think you've got to decide how many times the person's done something before, how in public it is, but I'm not sure public urination should be criminally charged. But okay, just don't mean to tell you how to do your job. I'm sorry, was there a question there? 